girls, what was the most obvious hint you dropped, and the guy just didn't get it? We were playing life, and he was a police officer. The rule is, if you spin a 10, he gets your speeding fines. I literally pulled open my button down, and exposed my breasts, and said what can I do to get out of paying this? He said, ma'am. I'm an officer of the law. Are you trying to prostitute yourself to me? A couple days of flirting and sexual innuendo later I literally had to spell out that I was trying to duck him. We've been together 6 years now. Yo that dude is serious about his role playing. I'm the guy in this situation, but I couldn't help not sharing this story. In college, this girl I was really into asked if I wanted to hang out at my dorm and drink and watch Netflix. She came over, and we were watching and drinking on the couch in the living room, for my suggestion. Things are going good, and about an hour into it she says ooh, lem see your room, so we go to my room. She takes her shoes and socks off and immediately sprawls herself out on my bed, and says oh my god, your bed is so comfortable. I responded with we live in the same building, it's the same bed as yours. She left about 10 minutes later. He told me my hair looked nice. I said, bet it would look nicer with your hands in it. He said, in a very confused tone, you want me to style your hair? We were talking about canoes, and I said I'm like a canoe because I'm wet, and you can go inside me, and he said canoes aren't really wet. The thing is, if he did acknowledge the sign, how should he have responded? Cowabunga. When my boyfriend and I had just started dating we were laying down watching a movie, but this was a small bed, and he was being respectful and giving me space. I kept wiggling backwards so I could get closer to him, and he kept inching backwards too, since he thought I was just trying to get comfortable, and he was in the way. He ended up sitting in a chair next to the bed. Three years later we are still together, and I still think it's pretty funny. He told me that when he was in the chair he purposefully left his hand next to me in case I wanted to hold it, but I guess I missed that sign too. He didn't get out of the bed because he was uncomfortable. He truly thought he was taking up too much space and didn't realize I was trying to cuddle. I threw my panties at him and he kept explaining God of War lore. This one wins. Man of culture. A couple of weeks ago to my boyfriend of 3 years, me, undresses and lays naked on the couch, waiting to bone. Him, makes dumb joke, who you're naked. That's so weird. Me, dies a little bit inside. After chatting for hours on top of a mountain from sunset until like 2am, sharing a blanket, me leaning my head on his shoulder, telling him he's attractive, etc. He turns to me and says back quote how do you tell if a girl is into you? He suspected that you were hinting and gave you a way to confirm or deny. Good move on his part. I'm a guy, but I once had an experience where I took the hint but still got rejected. A girl had asked me if I lost my virginity yet, we were in high school. When I said I hadn't, she said that I could practice on her whenever I want, mind you we walking home after school, because we lived close. I try to act on this hint when we get to her house, and she said she was only joking and doesn't want it to be weird with us as friends. Is it possible to get second and depressed? Because I think I just did. Before we started dating, I told my current boyfriend I love you, and he said, or I love you too you're such a good friend. The whole time we thought we were both friends owning each other. Wasted half a year going in circles shake my head. Guy here. Was invited back to study by one of the girls in my class at her apartment. We are about half hours in, and she says she might take a shower. I'm like okay, kinda random, but okay. Anyway she starts telling me the door to the shower is broken so don't come in. Says it 3 or 4 more times. Again, I'm like okay, weird she said that multiple times, but okay. Hours later the shower is still running. I can hear her singing and humming away, so I know she's okay and hasn't drowned. Thinking gee that's a long shower though. 
water goes off, and she comes out dressed, and says you didn't come in. I'm confused as I'm like what the duck she told me not to. She sits back down, clearly distracted and not wanting to study. We wrap up after 5 minutes. Drive home. Mate asks me how study was about a week later and the situation, which I hadn't given a single brain cell of thought to since, I explain to him. As I'm saying it out loud the penny drops as to what a big I am. She's the idiot, not you. She literally told you not to come in. It's entirely reasonable not to come in. Can you believe that creep of pervert came in after I told him four times not to? So answering in lieu of my late wife here I, husband, am dumb. Like, really dumb. She and I met and became friends very quickly, but I didn't know she apparently had a huge crush on me. I thought she was out of my league, and apparently she thought I was out of her league too, but she couldn't stop the feels. She rubbed her feet on me while we were talking, asked me in detail about my package, gave me her phone number with the line hit me up, if you want pizza and eggs. We went out for lunch, she offered to fell at me for a Dr. Pepper, and she was very insistent that we got meat lovers pizza when I asked her what she wanted for watching a movie later. After we watched the movie, she was in my bed, I figured she was just wanting to keep warm and cuddle, but she strutted into my bathroom stark naked, and I had some DD staring at me. She kissed me, and told me I want you to duck me, you idiot. A regular romance story there. In my defense, she had a really warped sense of humor, and I thought she was kidding with all that stuff. It felt so natural with us being friends that the thought didn't even cross my mind until she propositioned me that there was potential for more. I'd had some really ducked up exes, and I thought romance was something where I had to jump through hoops for the other person and wait on them hand on foot, but she was different. That's why she was the one who I got on one knee for. Advice to the ladies out there, if my wife telling me I want you to duck me got through my legendarily thick skull, I think as a last resort that'll get through to anybody. I asked a guy on a festival to come take a shower with me. He didn't get it. He just repeated there was only one free shower, and I was like well they are big I'm sure it's fine, and he just looked confused, and told me I could go first. We became close friends since that happened about 2 years ago, and this summer I spoke to him about it, and he really had no idea. He did the biggest face palm I've ever seen. Honestly, I feel this one. I was at my sister's a few weeks ago, and her boyfriend was in taking a shower. I was about to get into the other shower, and my sister says I'll be in the shower if you need me. Me, isn't, boyfriend, in the shower right now? Huh, yes, me, so you're showering in a few minutes, not now, huh, no, me, but, boyfriend, is already in there, huh, yes, me, huh, me, oh, face palm, ducking hell for a second I thought your sister was trying to get you to go into the shower with her, I was like, is this the start to a Cornhub community video? Before my boyfriend asked me out, he kept hinting at the fact that we were both single and everyone though we would be cute together I was like haha, yeah not realizing he was trying to ask me out. I'm not as brutally upfront as some of these people but mine happened yesterday. How do I know a girl is flirting with me? He asks. She touches you a lot while you two are talking. I cannot relate at all. That never happens to me. I'm sure it does. I tell him and hit his arm. I can't think of any time that's ever happened. See, this is a rough one because I had this one girl I'd talk to all the time and she'd sit next to me in class. I had a huge crush on her and she'd be overly touchy all the time. She'd occasionally even rest her head on my shoulder slash sleep on it during class when she was tired. Just stare into my eyes for prolonged periods of time and hug me. When I told her I had a crush on her, she shut me down completely and told me she only saw me as a friend smiley face. For valentines a couple of years ago, I mailed my husband a package. The note said, and I quote, I want you now. 
I was ready to spring into some extra fun sexy time whenever he opened the package. I had to sit him down and explain a couple of hours later. He was like oh, yeah, my wife's learned to just holler come to bed now. Otherwise I'm a dumbass that doesn't get it. On our first date, my current boyfriend and I went out to dinner, to a bar, and eventually back to his house to watch scary movies. After hanging out for almost 8 hours at that point, practically cuddling into him the entire time we were watching movies, dropping as many hints as I could, around 3am, when we were both fighting to stay awake, I finally had to look his dumbass in the eye and ask, so are you going to kiss me or not? Though he was totally oblivious, it did show his good heart. He was about to let me me fall asleep on his couch and spend the night without even trying to kiss me. I knew he was a keeper after that. His evil plan worked flawlessly. Guy here but once had a girl drag me into the bathroom while at a college party saying she needed help finding her marker slash pen. We didn't find it and I figured out what was really going on a year later. I had a girl invite me round her house once just to show me her posters. They were all of Harley Davidson motorbikes and she said she's never ridden a Harley before. Awkward silence and after a few other sort bits of small talk I decided to be on my way. Two years later I'm sitting on the bus and realize what she meant. Holly. Ridden the Holly. My name is Holly. One time a girl straight up asked if I wanted to take my pants off, and I didn't get it. I was like, nah, they're actually not uncomfortable at all. Literally said I want to be yours and the dude just keeps smiling, and goes on about random space facts. That one hurt a bit. We were discussing costumes, and I sent a picture of me in my bunny suit, and said I'd need help out of it. His response was telling me he hoped my roommate was home, or that would suck. I had to tell him I was implying I'd like him to take it off me, and it took him a minute to catch up. Edit. For those of you concerned it was very much a suggestive picture, I'm not sure it could have been perceived as just friendly, and no you won't be getting proof of said picture for those in my DMs lol. I was very much ready to hit him with the bat of bluntness, because we get along great, and he'd seemed flirty with me before. Jessica, that makes no sense. How can I help you when I'm clear across town? Invited him over to watch a movie eventually laying my legs across his lap and hard flirting, but after 4 movies I had to finally make the move. Edit for clarification, we'd been flirting via text, sexting, exchanging nudes, etc. I had previously told him to his face that I liked him and I'm giving him the green light to make any move. Still nothing after a month of dating. I seemed to always take the lead on things and I like assertiveness, but I wanted to give him the opportunity to feel like he could be in control, that it was okay. I was very direct many times, we'd had several discussions about it. Still nothing, even after I finally made the move I had to literally say, I want to have 2x with you. I once was modeling clothes I planned to take on vacation for my boyfriend. After showing off a couple of outfits, I told him to close his eyes and changed into lingerie. He opened his eyes and I asked him what he thought. His jaw dropped and he said, you can't wear that outside. I put my clothes back on. If you like this video don't forget to smash the like button. For more hits and giggles, subscribe.